We're going to Salem. It's the witch capital of the world. And we're going to cast some demons out. We're going to have fun. We've got mighty prayer warriors, intercessors, Pedro, Mary Ellen, Serge, John behind the camera. Let's not forget John. Something is going on in Salem that needs to be disrupted, needs to be destroyed, and needs to be cast out. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, flesh and blood yes. but against principalities and powers. So if we don't deal with the governing satanic agencies working over areas and regions, then we're only skimming the surface. There is a need for stronger, strong prayer warriors that know how to intercede in the spiritual realms and bind principalities and and uh, that conversation led into talking about Salem and the principalities there that James has been very burdened to pray against and to break their power. And out of just sweet fellowship on the phone, here we are about to cry out. We're just opposite the property of the Satanic Temple. They started in 2013. They are growing faster than probably most churches around the world. They've grown to 100,000 followers worldwide in 13 different states, including Canada. Be mindful of the fact that there's seven of us here. Seven? I, seven. Didn't, I didn't even plan. <laughs> Amen! No one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man. Now Jesus is talking about principalities, yeah. powers, yeah. demonic powers. So we are here to bind. So someone pray that out and we'll, we'll agree. Father, we bind at the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We want to get victory, Lord Jesus Christ. And demonic thing cannot do anything, Lord. We own Father God and we are going to do continuous, Lord Jesus. Nobody can stop. We break the powers of hell Amen. over this satanic temple. Amen. We break the powers of baphomet and darkness. Amen. And loose the captives Amen. free and we're coming in to plunder the goods Amen. which are sold. Every one of them was bought by the blood of Jesus. Pray that the, the people of Salem, the people of the Satanic Temple, find the love of God. That he reaches down and he starts to miraculously reveal himself to them. Especially the ones that are being led astray that don't think that uh, there's anything spiritual. Bring a revival in Salem. It will no longer be known as the capital of witchcraft in the world. It will be known as a capital of the kingdom of God here on earth. Where there is great joy and great revival and great power. They've got two museums on this Lynn Street. There's a witchcraft museum there, and they've got another museum there, which kind of, you know, commemorates the 19 people that were hung mm. on this site here. One of the early church fathers, Tertullian, um, he said that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. And if the blood of witches was spilt here, you know, it's become like a seed to give birth to more witchcraft and to more Satanism. We are washed in the blood and it's speaking for us greater things. That we are righteous, that we are holy, Amen. that we are hidden in our God, accepted in the beloved. We thank you that we, uh, we have found the place of rest, that we have found the place of victory, that we are seated in the highest place in Christ Jesus. And it's from that place that we are praying tonight. We're praying from victory. We're praying from the authority of Jesus' name. And we're saying that all the powers of darkness here are shaken, are moved out of place, are cast out in the name of Jesus. And we declare that the power is broken. We declare, Lord God, that curses are nullified. We have no effect in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. And every soul that is in bondage, every soul that has been zombified, every soul, Lord God, that's, that, that's in the cocoon, Lord God, we declare them free in the name of Jesus Christ. Let a tsunami of your glory flow through Salem right now in Jesus' name. And they will cry out, Lord God, that you're the one and true living God and they will not serve any other God in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray against these spirits and we pray instead for the spirit of love, joy, peace, patience. We pray to God, He will answer us, no matter how difficult the circumstances. And if this
this is the headquarters of the enemy that was keeping praise from being answered, like in the days of Daniel, where the principality hindered, and God said, the day that you dispose of yourself to pray, I have answered you, but the principality of this land withheld me for 21 days? Answer prayers now in Jesus' name. Yeah.